Be inspired. Be innovative. Be creative. Be a nation's builder. Watch Zo TV and the Wood Magician now. Zo TV. Zo TV. Zo TV. Zo TV, you know. Worldwide, you know me say. Remember always that in this video, this is the final result of what we are driving at. This innovation and technology is a roller coaster. So, keep watching, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Making of the giant wine barrel. An unusual construction of a, a wood piece that is not common around the globe. It's a unique construction. Uh, if you ask builders around the world, turning wood into round shapes are probably the most hard piece in the industry. But we are in Africa here, and um, some people like myself, we work with only basic equipment, basic tools to make our construction work. The rest of it is just nomadic skills, and higher imagination of just making things work. So, turning our wood into a round shape to produce a giant wine barrel is not an easy piece and has not been an easy piece. But the beautiful part of this is the challenging part, the thought processes make it great. I know that People who have seen this kind of piece before somewhere in the part of their world, they keep asking the question, how did they make it happen? A platform is a platform of learning. It's a platform of inspiration. It's a platform of creativity to the highest level. So we come again with this episode to teach people about how the giant wine barrel was put together. Action is about to start, and as usual, we have to form frames, we have to form forms. If you look at, as I said, the unusual wine barrel, how are we going to create these forms over here? But the first thing begin from the trailer. We have to create some form work to put in the trailer and create a platform. That is it. After the platform, what next? After the platform, we have to move on to the next, and the next, and then the next. The most challenging part of this is, I have never taken my workers through creating patterns before. But because we are going to cut all this round shape, we have to come up with our own compass, come up with certain things that can make the life easier for us. So, put some plywood pieces together, and then put some frames on top, use the compass to cut, it's just that a process that we can't really explain too many of them. But you know, as I'm telling you, you watch it, you see it, you see what is happening over there. But it's a process that went on for a while. We keep going and we keep going and we keep going and we keep going until we're able to achieve what we want. Boom! Lifestyle creation. These are steps that we take. It's a learning process and it comes with a lot of patience. You can't rush it too much because when you rush it, you're not gonna get it right. One interesting part of this work is that we had a limited time to produce a big result. If you work on a product every time that you are already used to, you, it doesn't matter when you have a limited time to actually produce a good result. 
But this was a product that I have never created anything in this kind of round or unusual shape before. But we had only um, six weeks to be able to produce a good result. And in these six weeks, I have to train. I have to make sure that I have everything on board. I have to make sure that all my wood, all the tongue and groove, everything is available. Within these six weeks, we have to build a trailer. So you can understand, we're building a trailer. We are going to wood market. We're getting wood, processing the wood, making sure that we have the right wood for everything that we needed it for, and then putting everything together. Now, I can't let my workers, some of them, go home and come back. So we basically did a camping job. So we camp right here. We camp at my workshop. That is where every action is. That is where everything is going to be built. But camping over here, the most interesting part of it is, it's like we are living in nature and in harmony with nature. So I have a fire pit that we use to cook, to boil water, to do everything that you can think of. That is the fire pit that has a job. My waste wood does not go to anybody. It comes back to me. So I use my waste wood as a source of firewood to be able to produce or to make food. So um, this is what we are living on in now. So here and there, you know, we we'll sometimes go on break and then get some food and then come back to the work again. But this is how we're living the life. We're living the life like the off, we were off grid. Not many things were just available at this particular place. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Everywhere else. It might not rain in Ghana, but I assure you, Dodua, it will rain over there. That is my district. That is where I work. And when everything is on the other end of sunshine, the weird part is then it is raining in Dodua. The working conditions were tough, especially the time that we were building the barrel, the working condition was tough. It was either very, 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 very hot in a day where sometimes you see my workers, you know, some of them want to go to sleep, some of them want to just sit somewhere else, and I just don't have the whole infrastructure in place. You know what I mean? Yeah, and that is also part of not having the capital. So if you are watching the network and you feel like we are on a good course to be the real freedom nation builders or we are on a good course to make this nation a great one, then you can come to our aid and donate something for us. But we don't have an entire cover over there for the workers to work. So we switch and we play 
with the weather to make it a reality. I came up with this concept for a client of mine who was looking for an unusual art piece, wood piece that can be in his hotel to serve as a cocktail bar. So I came up with the idea that we need to have this barrel, you know, that looks like the normal either a beer tank or a wine barrel that has been straddled onto a trailer which could then turn into a cocktail bar so you know i came up with a weird concept it's not a weird concept but i think that i gave myself some challenging process without not realizing that how much is going to impact on my workers Yes, lifestyle creation is having a story and the story is about a giant wine barrel. Remember that this is what we are looking for. The final result of what we are looking for is this. Nothing really go waste in my kingdom, you know. Uh, this is part of the zero waste, um, how do you call it, a creative piece over here. We try as much as possible to make sure that all our wood pieces that are left are being cut into certain sizes and we use them to do a decoration inside the uh, the barrel so yeah that is what my boys are putting together and as usual i'm giving them the guidance to make sure that even though it's an arrangement it has to be arranged in a certain pattern to also make it look beautiful when we build stuff some people are always worried about the safety how long it will last and all that and um africa is a termite place there are a lot of termites in africa so we make sure that you know we give a treatment to our plywood and everything so that's what you see my guy doing now because we have to do this not we're not telling the client that we're doing all this but you know we 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 are, we are builders that go into a lot of detailing making sure that what we produce what we bring out is just not something that will just you know be there for two three years and then start to get to get problem we want the stuff to last for so many years you know we want it to last for so many years so we go to the higher height to make sure that we protect the product very well and um you see there is this green piece material you know which is waterproof material that we are putting around the barrel we're doing this also as a rain protection thing um quite often um you will see the outer part of the barrel to be wood but in between the plywood and then the tongue and groove there is this green material and this green material is serving as a protection so let's say that you know if in case water leaks you know around the wood and it goes 
onto the um, plywood it wouldn't be able to go even to the plywood because there is that kind of coat on there it protects everything from water so it's like waterproof that is what we are putting together over there now you know so yeah um then we put in a tongue and groove on top we put the tongue and groove on top and then after that we'll do the sandpaper and do all the potty and pot like you know seal almost every hole and then before we do the vanishing so it's a lot of work it's not just something that you just sit down and say that oh they've put it together and it looks beautiful and you think that it was just done from nowhere my training program encompasses the entire education of the being that is if you are in my kingdom my education does not only just requires you to be a builder or to be a creative person but I give you a necessary education about life so all the youth training with me now what they do is I make sure they understand the domestic part of life so when they wake up in the morning they have to be part of the living you know you're feeding the chickens Put, putting up fire, boiling water, cooking for yourself. You know, that whole of multitasking thing where they are able to be working and to, and, to, and, to, and to go back and to cook at the same time and then come back to the field of working again. You know, just balancing the life out. You know, living in harmony with everything. That is what my education program is about. So if you ever come to train or you want to train, with the lifestyle creation, you must understand that you are coming here to understand life and to understand what life is about. So there's one form of you developing a skill, one form of you having um, to be able to innovate. There is another thing too, how to learn to be a good boy or how to learn to be a good girl. That is what my education is about because we are training you to go out there to be able to be self-sufficient, self-independent, but have the ability to be able to impart, impart positively to the world. Like, comment, subscribe, and share.